Okay, so this is just a short video just to explain how uh, I use the twist and square. So if you do get one of these, uh, hopefully this uh, video will just show you how easy it is to use. Uh, there's a little bit of working out to do, um, so there's a few things that you're going to need uh, apart from the actual tool itself, and uh, we'll go through that now. Okay, so the things we need for this, um, again, is the square, or the twist and square to start off with, our template. Uh, we're also going to need a calculator. We'll also need a protractor. We'll also need a slide and bevel. And to do your working out, obviously, pencil and a pad. Uh, now, these other items here, aren't necessary if you're just doing a feature in a back garden and you don't have a start off and a finish point to go to say like in a porch where you're working from damp course up to the soffit of the uh, porch uh, at the ceiling height um, you are governed by the number of courses you've got but if you're in the garden just doing a feature you don't really need any of this all you need to do is set this up to uh, an angle that looks quite nice which um, Hopefully we'll um, explain that a little bit more as we go further into this. Uh, and then away you go. But um, if you are, like all the ones I've done so far, um, you are governed by a start and finish um, point, you need to have this formula. And uh, there is a formula, like I said before, with every mathematical um, uh, calculations, there's always going to be a formula to go. So what we have to have is the degree divided by the courses. Now the degree, if I just explain, if this is our pier, this face, if that turns through to there, would be 90 degrees. If this face, we'll say it's west and it's east there. If that then goes to the east, that's 180 degrees. If it goes all the way round, back to west, we've got 360 degrees. So we need to determine how we want to do the twist and then we're governed by the courses. So we'll just, uh, for example, say we want to do a full twist, which is 360. So a 360, and we'll say we're going to have 30 courses to do it in. So we just want to get a calculator, switcher on. We'll do 360 divided by 30 equals, and we have 12. So you can see each course would be 12 degrees. Okay, so um, that's quite a severe twist that is, but um, it does, it would look effective. Uh, let's just do another one then. Let's just say that we were going to go from from the west to the east there. So we're just going to go 180 twists. So we'll have 180 divided by, we'll keep it to the 30 courses. And we'll see what we have there. Should be 6 degrees, obviously. We'll just do a double check. 360 divided by, and we said we were going to have 30 courses still. Sorry get this right, 180 divided by 30 equals 6 degrees. Now 6 degrees is still quite nice and uh, that's what I'm going to use just to now go through uh, the example. Now with um, the tool itself you can see on this side we have three holes. The first one is for uh, a 9 inch pair, this is for a brick and a half and this is for two brick. So if we were going to set this up now, what I would do is, if we can see this, draw myself a baseline with the protractor, put that on there, and then I would mark where the centre is, and then I'm going to mark 6 degrees on the protractor and then draw that line. So then what I do is adjust this to that angle, which is there. And then what I do from then on is I will set this up to this angle. Uh, 
then once it's set up then I'm ready to go yeah, so to, to set this up have the bevel ready and then just uh, with the adjustment on here just set it up to the angle that you've just marked do a double check on it just to make sure you're happy with it I'm happy with that so this is our six degrees that we've got so with the twist and square loosen the wing nuts and then there's a couple of ways of doing this the way I like to do it is to put the square on the top uh, top one and then make sure that this one sits true on the bottom square so you know that that then is um, set at the six degree angle once you're happy with that obviously you tighten up the two wing nuts so it won't move and then you're ready to go it's all set up for you so if I just quickly explain what I do on the 9 inch pair. This was explained in the video of the triple twist. Um, you'll also notice on here uh, there's a little notch for where the 9 inch brick will finish and there also is a little notch on both sides, 9 inch and a brick and a half and there's a brick and a half as well. Just so you keep your, your brickwork square as you go around. So with this Obviously, just lay them on the first ones in the square, and then the second ones you obviously governed by the length of the brick uh, for that notch. But this notch here, um, you adjust with your joint. So, you just want to make sure that when you lay it, you keep to there. So, that will still be your um, uh, 215. Okay, so you're going to be like so. But when I do this, I don't use it on this side because it's a 9 inch and we know bricks vary in size. I'll keep everything on this face here. So as this face here twists round, I will keep it going round like so. And again, just keeping it to that little notch. And as it twists round like so, when it gets to there, I will then come back to this side and use it there just so all this face remains true and the back as we know on um, the bricks do vary in size won't quite be um, as accurate that'll be a little bit bumpy but that is just the nature of the bricks when it comes to using a brick and a half and we've already had this one on there again I'll just do this the same I'll do a six degree just so you can see the bevel being used again. So I keep the bevel I'm going to keep the bevel on the top one and I'm going to adjust that until I'm happy Let's run them parallel on both squares. Now, the one thing I'm going to um, mention to you about this is some bricks um, obviously do vary a little bit, and also some at time to time you might get a little bit of mortar as you're doing your bed joints on the square. That could just alter the twist a little bit. So if you had done that um, three or four times, you could be three or four uh, degrees out. So. Um, Depending on how many courses you're doing, I'd always check halfway 45 degrees and if I'm over 45 degrees then obviously I'd make a slight adjustment just to get me back to where I should be. I've never ever had any problems doing this but I always do check halfway. So with a brick and a half, just very very quickly, when I do this obviously you make sure that this is all square just by using tape measure. But um, when I'm doing my next course, again I have my little notches 
to keep to because obviously I've got a joint here now where I can alter this. So I'll keep to that notch, keep to that notch. But when I do this side, I will use this on here. So on a, nine, uh, a brick and a half, I will use it on the opposite corners so that that will get used both sides and again remain true. On uh, any twist that you're going to do, uh, I would always recommend that you start off just doing it dry first, just to get a, a little idea of um, what it's going to be looking like. And, uh, and then once you've um, sort of played around, you could again use some template. You can even experiment. Um, this one's set on the one brick. This is on the brick and a half. And what this does, which is what I'm playing with at the moment, and will be a video in the future, uh, you get rectangular twists as well. So. Um, Again, you can just have um, hours of fun um, doing whatever you need to do. Um, and again, what I have done in the past, which I haven't videoed, I've had twists, uh, two separate twists going together um, so they meet at the top rectangularly. Um, that always looks really good. But again, you can uh, just experiment, do it all dry first, just to get you an idea of what you're going to be doing, and uh, just enjoy it. <laughs> 